This assignment is about Sojourner Truth's speech, Ain't I a Woman? She is one of the renowned um, leaders in the civil rights movement in the 1800s, and her speech is a very important speech in the history of the movement. Um, it is studied throughout academia, um, in high school, as well as at the college level. It's an important speech for you to be familiar with. Um, today, we're going to break down the speech, considering the author's purpose and also um, her uh, intended audience and the rhetorical moves that she made uh, decisions she made as far as how she wanted to present that speech, how she wanted to persuade her audience. So I'd like to talk to you about step one, which is the research part of this assignment. Um, I do want you to visit all four of these websites um, and write down or type in two or three facts about Sojourner Truth. And they need to be interesting facts, not um, facts such as the year she was born or the fact that she's a female, um, we need to consider some of the more um, interesting aspects of her life. And that's what I would like for you to put in these sections here next to education, family, childhood, or miscellaneous. Those are the categories. After you do that, you're going to go straight into the uh, close reading and you're going to listen to the reading of the speech performed by Kerry Washington. And then you're going to read the speech again. Of course, it's, it's found here on the left side. Um, she, the, the speech is, is provided for you here with questions that you need to answer on the right side. And make sure you put your answers in a different font color. After you've answered these questions, you're going to move on to the compare and contrast section of this assignment where you will go to this website, the Sojourner Truth Project, and um, think about the work that you did in the previous section, the answers to your questions. And um, you're going to answer these three questions about Sojourner Truth and her speech. And then finally, the last section has to do with reflecting on your work. Um, you want to respond in complete sentences. You want to have two sentences per question. Um, you are, with all of this, going to be graded based not only on the quality of your responses, but also on grammar, mechanics, and spelling.